good morning. As you guys can probably tell, we are going to be plowing today. But before we get into that, got a little bit of a little bit of fixing to do. So yesterday was the first, I would say, full day of plowing since that video I posted would be well Friday night. That was taken on a Wednesday, I think. And today's Saturday. So over the course of the past, I would say three days, we've plowed a total of about 200 acres, which not bad, but could definitely be a lot more if we had been doing it all day. Obviously we had to go drive truck one of the days, but yesterday we drove the whole day and today I'm hoping we can plow the whole day. I think we're gonna need some fuel for the day. Yeah. So while we put fuel and government juice in the tractor, we're probably gonna change those two, two plowshares that we have to change, which there's not a lot. I walked around it last night. It was dark, so I don't have a real good. I'm not 100% sure that's all it needs changed, but I guess we'll find out. But I'm pretty sure it's just two of the little shares that are in front. If you watched last year, you'll know that we did weld on these little crates to carry all of our parts, which is very handy instead of having to keep them all, you know, in your toolbox or in your tractor. So that little crate that's on top of that, super handy. So this is one of the shares we're gonna be changing. Um, you can see that's that's not good. It's supposed to look more like this Not like that So now I'll take all the trash extra nuts if these are fine and the bolts i'll probably keep them in case i mean if they're not worn down too much i'll probably just end up reusing them well we got death now we're just gonna wait in the fuel we're gonna change one more of those and we can hopefully start plowing for the day also you know i maybe shouldn't have parked the plow directly where they piled up the chicken litter this summer because now I'm gonna smell the entire day which don't get me wrong it's it's farming you're not gonna smell great but you know it's just one of those things it's kind of it's kind of not nice to smell like chicken poop the entire day all right plow is fixed tractors fueled and deft let's fire up and get her going also if you want some high quality work boots to sit in your tractor and do absolutely nothing and not even utilize them, but they'll still look really good and be really comfortable, go to brunt.com and use promo code FAIRFARMING10 for $10 off any order. Link will be in the description. You guys wanna know what I love about this time of year is that everything smells like some type of poop. Like right now, the next week, maybe two weeks, everything that I own, I pick up my clothes, will all smell like pig poop. No, hog poop. Those are the same thing, and they're not even right. This field's actually chicken litter, so anyway. All right, now we can go work. I think I should start golfing in my brunts. They have pretty good traction. 
I'm just kidding. I love to plow. Seems to make a lot of you guys frustrated that no plowing was that controversial. Anywho, let's get her going. Alrighty. My hair looks awesome right now. Time to swipe my credit card to get all these notifications. That one's actually kind of important. Anyway, auto track on, plow up so I don't drag it across the field while I turn. Pick up not parked in the chicken poop pile. Feeling deaf. It's gonna be a good day. Iowa foot plays football today. So I'll tell you right now, there's nothing more depressing right now than being a Chicago Bears fan and an Iowa Hawkeye fan. Like, I might get some comments for this, but, you know, it's just depressing. Like, most Saturdays in the fall, if you're, like, excited, you get to listen to the radio, listen to Gary Dolphin and Ed Podolak announce a Hawkeye game, and you're just like, it's going to be a great day, you know? I can, it just, time flies. You know, time flies when you're having fun. But... Not recently. Like, it's almost depressing to listen to the games. And I'm not even sure if I want to. But the sad thing is, I'm going to. Just like tomorrow. I'm going to watch the Bears game. I'm going to get let down. And then next weekend, I'll do it all over again. Anyway, enough of me ranting about football. Let's get this thing going. guys been going at it for a little while now should probably close my tractor door otherwise it's gonna all smell like chicken poop and we don't want that so I think someone dropped us off some lunch which is perfect because I didn't pack any my wife's not home so pretty much I need to fend for myself which when that happens I usually just eat frozen pizzas but that's not really working out today Anyway, we got some pieces of pizza, so that's that's perfect. We're gonna walk around the plow quick, make sure nothing's cracked, bent, or broken. Go inside, eat our nice hot pizza. Maybe turn on the back massager. Have ourselves a day. You know, it's like 85 degrees right now. In the past like week, it's gotten down to like 45, 50. So this is really warm. Right now I'm kind of just looking at the bottoms obviously, looking at the frame. Usually if something's wrong with the frame of the plow, it's pretty obvious. You can see it really clearly from the cab. Another thing are these bolts in the back. If you watched us last year, you'll know we welded on these big U things to strengthen these bolts. Like this one right here is not, but you can see it sometimes cracks right here, which we don't like because then this just hangs down. But I also look for that. I obviously look for shares and just every single part of these wear parts on the plow bottom. But everything looks pretty good. There's a dog barking at me. He doesn't like me. Whew. What's up, dude? How you, how you doing? Hi. You're a good boy. Well, that's cool. All right, go back home. Anyway. Man, it's been a while since the last video I took. Like seven hours, but we've been pretty much just been plowing the whole day. Nothing's broke. I guess I changed one or two shares. That's not a big deal. My mom's actually getting here with my supper. So let's get that quick. All right, package secured. I'm gonna walk out here and show you guys what we have left on this field that we'll hopefully finish tonight. So right now I opened up this, I call them land, last night, actually yesterday. I usually just make one full round, have a furrow on each side, work around it. I have everything south of here done. You can see those trees. There's about, eh, probably 200 acres worth done down there. 
So we got maybe 60, 60 or so acres left up here, maybe 50, maybe less. It is, I think, 6.30 right now. So that's about four hours worth of plowing. If everything goes smooth, hopefully it does. Maybe we can get this field done tonight. And once we get this field done, obviously this was oats, we're gonna move on to corn stalks, which hopefully a video of that will come out next week. We'll talk about that then. But for now, I'm gonna go eat my supper, get back up in the tractor so I don't have to smell this chicken poop anymore. All right, it's almost sunset. So we're gonna take the drone up, get some pretty sick drone shots. So for the next minute or so, that's what you're gonna be seeing. Kids, I don't know if you can see that, but we're kind of running low on fuel. And I know you can't really see me, but I was really hoping to get this field done tonight. We got probably an hour, hour and a half left before we close everything up. But we do have some parts we can change in the plow that I've been seeing. Um, we're going to empty out that fuel wagon and then probably call it a weekend. It is Saturday night, so hopefully I can get this video out for you guys tomorrow, Sunday. Also, happy birthday to Keith, if you're still watching this, buddy. Happy birthday. I hope you had a good day. You texted me that you were harvesting your beans, so I hope that, I hope that did well for you on your birthday. But Yo, you can jump to the, the combine guys are still going too, but the they're about to quit. So we're going to call it a video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one.